Hi everyone, I'm Zoe Canella, reporting for Kids First, and today I'm going to be interviewing the wonderful cast of Party of Five. So let's get on into the video. Hey, yes. That's awesome. I love it. All right, she's all set. Hi everyone, welcome to Miami. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you guys are a party of five, and I'm a lonely child, so you guys want to adopt me? Yeah. I've always wanted to be part oh, of a big family. Yeah, come on. <laughs> the original Party of Five in 1994, um, it wasn't a Latino family, so why do you think now that they changed it to be more Hispanic or Latino? I think the creators um, were always talking about this, that they were already thinking of rebooting the series, but they, they didn't really ever find the right time. And Amy, which is our wonderful creator, she was talking about this in an interview saying that this is the right time. This is the right time to put a Hispanic family on TV. This is the right time to talk about immigration and deportation. And I mean, this is what's happening in real life and it's what's happening in this country. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, this is a very different TV series because you guys are basically assuming the role of parents. So do you think that they did that because they want to show that kids are capable of being independent sometimes in that? Absolutely. Yeah. I, I, think, I think the younger generation now more than ever um, is an inspiration to e even me now. I, I look up to some kids who are younger than me. Yeah. And, and this show, it teaches kids that we are all stronger together. Yeah. You know, and I think that that's an, insp uh, that, that's an inspiring thing for the generation who's uh, you know, on the up and up, who's coming up after us. Uh, so I hope that by being on this show and by telling these authentic stories, um, we're able to inspire another generation to do the same. Did you guys ever talk to the actual families who faced deportation? To a few, a few. Yeah, yeah, we have, and we've also maintained each other very educated and informed on what's going on. Yeah, yeah. A few people have always, uh, uh, a few <laughs> people have um, reached out to us and told us their story. So it's very nice to hear. Them. We actually did some promotional work for Freeform, and uh, they found. Um, uh, survivors who had gone through similar situations that each and every one of our characters had gone through. For instance, I met a young lady and she had gone through very similar circumstances to what Amelia had gone through. Her parents were deported. She was uh, now the caretaker, being the eldest of her, I believe she had three siblings. So I ha we have spoken to a few uh, survivors who have gone through the same thing. So yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. It's been really eye-opening and uh, a great experience too. Yeah, I relate to, because um, I'm a Latina and I'm also a working kid, so how do you think that you guys can relate to your characters? In so many ways, I think I'm very similar yeah. to Beto in, in the awkward teenage stage, you know, <laughs> I had that for sure, probably still in it a little bit. Um, but also, I'm, I'm the oldest sibling um, uh, in real life of my siblings, and so it, it, I took that into um, consideration when I was playing Beto because he kind of feels like he has to be the oldest sibling when Emilio is lacking in, in, in certain areas. Um, so yeah, very similar to Beto. So what challenges do you think that the Costas will face throughout, throughout the series? Throughout the season? Yeah. Um, well, as the season ones unfold, you know, now that, uh, for instance, my character Emilio is now uh, stepping into the role of basically their fa the father figure. Um, he has to find the balance between being uh, their father in a way, but also he can't forget that he's also their brother, you know, and that he needs to uh, differentiate and know when he needs to step into each role. And do you think that the upcoming scripts will also have a lot more Spanish in it? Oh, definitely. Yeah. I think throughout the season, our parents are always speaking Spanish. We're constantly throwing in Spanish words and sentences, and, and there are characters that come in that speak Spanish. Yes, so right. I think that's something that's really important for us to stay true to the, the bicultural point of view of the show. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, what do you think audiences should expect watching the show? They should expect a little bit of everything. They're going to laugh with us mm -hmm. as much as they're yeah. going to cry with us and um yeah it's going to be a roller coaster of emotions yeah i was crying while watching it <laughs> only the first episode <laughs> yeah also you're, you're, you're gonna laugh yeah. you know, you're gonna yeah. laugh and, and there are gonna be those moments where you know, oh my god i've gone through something like that or yeah. i can't relate to that because my yeah. brother you know does that to me here so it, it, it'll warm hearts across the country, I truly believe it. 
And um, so, like, were you guys all homeschooled throughout? I like, worked for a bit. Yeah. yeah. Emily, yeah. Emily was as well. I was homeschooled all of high yeah. school, yeah. I was homeschooled yeah. a bit too. I'm a homeschooling. No way. Yeah. All of us have been homeschooled? Yeah. All of us. I didn't know this. Did like, you guys ever go to regular school or yeah. is it? I went to oh, regular yeah. high school for a bit. I went to regular mm -hmm. school up until eighth grade and then after that I was homeschooled for the rest of the oh, high school. Yeah. yeah. I, I went to public school until third, fourth, fourth grade. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. So like half of elementary almost? Yeah, pretty much. It's been so great talking to you guys. Thank you. Thank you guys all so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and check out some of our other Kids First reviewers and reporters. Goodbye. Don't forget to breathe.